The number one sign you are officially winning in life. You are officially doing well for yourself. But first, a like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. What is the number one sign that you are doing well in life that you are officially, quote, winning in life? People begin to target you. People begin to oppose you. And that's a great thing. If you were not a woman of influence, if you were not a woman of impact, nobody would give you a second thought. You would just blend into the background like other people, like many people do. And for a lot of people, that's just everyday life. That's okay. But when you have a gifting on your life, when you have been called to do something or you're good at something or you have a goal you want to achieve, if you have a purpose for your life and you are dead set on achieving that purpose, people will oppose you and people will try to make life hard for you. Don't fight against it. Embrace it because that should be your motivation to keep going. You see, the way I see it, the enemy only attacks people who are doing something that's valuable. The enemy only attacks people who have the power and the influence to, to help other people become better in their lives. And if you were not the type of woman who truly understood your why, truly understood your purpose, then nobody would bat an eye at you. So when you start doing the right thing, when you start pursuing your goals, you have to expect that people will oppose you. And how will people oppose you? The number one way people try to oppose you is by simply asking your opinion. How many times have people asked your opinion and you suddenly find yourself in an argument all because you answered their question honestly? See, when your opinion matters to somebody, they can't just let it go. They have to let you know, well, I agree to disagree. And while I hear what you're saying, I don't agree with that because, because, because. I can't tell you how many people have read my books and have told me, well, I don't really agree with it, but yeah, okay, I see this. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to look at it. You don't have to do any of that. But they went out of their way to tell me, I don't agree with this and this is the reason why. And when people feel like they owe you an explanation, you are truly a woman of influence because how many times can you see a commercial on TV and you don't care about the commercial, you might not like it, but you don't talk about it. But there's something about seeing someone doing something that's making an impact or having an influence on other people that caused the regular people, the people who are just accustomed to airing their opinion and not doing anything, they get all riled up and get all tensed up at you because you dare to take a risk and put your opinion and whatever else you're doing out there. So that's the number one way. One of the ways that people oppose you, they attack you, is with their opinion or their rebuttal of what you're doing. The number two way people like to attack women of influence is that they like to dig into their past and see what they can find to tarnish their reputation in the present. You see, a lot of times when people are doing well in life, especially women, you have some people who are so wicked, so demonic, they like to dig into your past and see if they can find something that will make you look bad to other people in the present. Now, a lot of times for many women, thankfully, there's really nothing to dig into. You know, people will keep digging and digging and digging and digging and they got to just spin something to make it look like more than what it is or more than what it is or more than what it was. And I'm just warning you because if you plan to do great things in life, if you are a woman of impact, if you have a voice and not a voice for like, oh, you're fighting the power. But if you are encouraging women to simply be women and embrace their womanhood, you're going to have bitter men, masculine women, and people are accustomed to taking advantage of other people. They're not going to like that. And you have to be ready and be willing to still be confident and do what you do regardless. And not just in that area, in any area of your life. If you are a woman who is simply going after her goals, if you decided that you're no longer content living the way that you're living, that you want to step outside the box and truly live the life that you believe you were meant to live, 
if you do something that is opposite of what people are accustomed to seeing you do, they are not going to receive that well. They're going to look at you sometimes as if you have this delusional thinking or whimsical thinking or you're being delulu. You're not being realistic. And can I tell you, sometimes being realistic doesn't get you anywhere. You have to have a level of not delusion, but of faith in order to really go after the type of life that you want. And the way that you can stay motivated to continue to pursue your goals, even when people oppose you, you have to ask yourself and remind yourself of why you're doing what you're doing in the first place. For me, when I first started my YouTube channel, I had to constantly remind myself of why I started the channel in the first place. And I'll be honest with you, my number one reason, I would say they share number one spot, but a lot of my number one reason for starting my YouTube channel is that I don't want to work outside the home anymore. I really don't. I don't want to have to deal with people on other people's terms. I don't want to have to perform in order to make money. I want to make money doing the thing that comes natural to me, doing the thing that has less stress on my body, doing the thing that will allow me to live a more stressless and softer kind of life. And I also want it to be available more for my children. So in times of discouragement, when I started getting frustrated or feeling like I don't have any ideas or feeling like, you know, that imposter syndrome, nobody's going to watch me. It's just me. Nobody cares. I had to remind myself of the reason why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. And then the number one reason that the shared spot is that I also wanted to influence and impact and encourage women. For me, I was, you know, I've always been a woman who gave people advice, who encouraged people. I've been told many times up until this day that you're like a therapist, you're like a coach, you know, like she helps with the customers, but she also is a therapist. I've heard that at one of my previous jobs because of the interactions I have with people. You don't just get a product from me. You don't just get a service. You get encouragement. You get influence. You get helpful advice. You get wisdom. And I'm not saying that to boast. I'm saying that because I realize the skills and the gifts that God put on the inside of me. And I refuse to sit on that anymore. And the way I see it is that when you use your gifts and skills and talents, you will be blessed for it as well as bless other people. So that was like the number one reasons why I decided to start my YouTube channel because I believed I can reach even more people doing what I do in everyday life. But had I allowed the opposition from other people to stop me from doing what I'm doing now, writing books and doing all of that, I would still be miserable thinking about the job I got to go to that I don't feel like going to thinking about, you know, that's my only source, uh, you know, even though I'm married, but you know, you still have your own things as a woman, you should want to have your own things as a woman. And I think the privilege of being a woman, especially being a woman of purpose, is that you understand that you pretty much have a choice and you're a manager of your life. You can decide what's comfortable for you and what's not, and you can change it. And when you think like that, people truly want to come against you because they're like, no, I'm doing this. So you should do that too. Who are you to try and do something different? And people won't say that with their words, but sometimes they definitely say it with their actions. When I told people that, you know, I'm writing books, I'm starting a YouTube channel, I'm doing all these different things. They looked at me as if I was speaking some kind of whimsical language like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Because, you know, people don't really believe anything until they see money attached to it. And when money started showing up, not that anybody knew, but they seemingly saw that I was the same way, whether I was working or just home throughout the day. Well, wow, by golly, like, you know, and you're not doing these things to prove anything to other people. But I say that to say is that when you're a woman of influence and a woman of purpose, and you truly understand the kind of life you want, and you're going after that, you have to expect that people are going to oppose you. And then also, you have to expect that 
People just might not understand the kind of life, the way you're talking. They just don't get it. And it is not our job to make people understand as long as they respect it and give you space to do what you do. Even if you're in a relationship, you know, this YouTube thing. And I broke, I go back to YouTube because a lot of people are starting YouTube channels. A lot of women are becoming entrepreneurs and if you're in a relationship with your husband might have been accustomed to seeing you, you know, going out, doing different things. And now you're saying, I got to make a video. I got to do this. Especially if your husband is a man of a certain age, they might not see that as something productive. They might not see that as something that's really going to be rewarding in the end. And they might look at you as if, you know, what are you doing? Why is your face on screen? That's another opposition to, and somehow we segue into starting a YouTube channel. And if that's something that's interesting to you, I definitely encourage you to do it. But one of the oppositions that you'll get to starting a YouTube channel is like, your face is going to be on camera. Do you want people to see you? Why not? They're going to see you in person regardless. And once again, it comes down to your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Even if you're not starting a YouTube channel, let's say you're becoming a full-time entrepreneur, or let's say that you're becoming, you know, you get a new role at work. As women, it's important to understand your why, regardless of who receives it or not. So when you start leveling up in life, when you start doing well, when you start going after your goals, you have to expect opposition and don't let it stop you from pursuing the things that you know you were meant to pursue. All right, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch the video until the very end, hit the high hill emoji. I love to see it. Take care.